I've been thinking lately about what it means to be creative and whether I am creative or not. And what does creative even mean? Sometimes it feels weird to call myself somebody who's creative when I don't really necessarily create anything. But one could also argue that I actually am creating something with my videos or anything that I make. One could argue that I'm actually making something. But for me, I always feel kind of like uncomfortable considering myself as somebody who's um creative because I don't know if what I do would be considered as a creative my in my entire life I always wanted to be that person you know that person that was able to just like make things out of thin air and um everybody to be like whoa like I can't believe you did that that is so cool like how did you do that I always kind of wanted to have that but I was never good at it. I was never good at painting or whatever it is, like painting or drawing or anything. I was never really that good at it. And so whenever somebody would come and say to me, Alex, you you are creative, blah, blah, blah. You make all of these things. Do I? I mean, not really. I mean, yes, you could argue that like I make stuff, but is does anybody who makes stuff means that they're a creative like just because you make something doesn't mean that you're necessarily creative and what does that even mean like what does it even mean to do all the things that you're doing what does it even mean to be creative is it because you like come up with something like all on your own like would that be something that's creative or is it just you are literally like making whatever and like that's kind of it, you know? I don't know. And I always I always get stuck in these like thought loops of like wondering if if what I'm doing even is good, you know? Not that that really matters, but I get insecure about it. Um, and sometimes I don't even know. I don't even know what to do about that. Because my whole life, I, I wanted to be somebody creative. And that's why I went to film school, you know? I wasn't the painter or a drawer or somebody that was able to make things like that. But I wanted everybody to look at me as though I was creative. And I've come to accept that I am not. I'm not creative or I'm not creative in the traditional way. Um, Do I make things? Sure. Am I good at them? Definitely not. Um, But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with not being totally good and making things. I'm okay with not being considered as creative. And sometimes like I wonder what it is that like my YouTube is, you know, And sometimes I see people create stuff and I think to myself, like, (laughs) literally, that is so amazing. And um, sometimes I get upset that I can't do the same thing. But also, I know that I can. You know, I know that I'm just, like, holding myself back and that I'm being, like, insecure for, like, no reason. But I don't know. Sometimes you just have the mind for it, sometimes you don't, or sometimes it looks a different way, you know? Like, you could argue that anything that, like, AI comes up with is creative, because it's like, it creates it, but that doesn't mean that that is creative. And sometimes I wonder, what does it actually mean to be creative? Is it, like, the things that you make? Is it because you come up with something original? Is it because of your skill, of your talent? Is it because of everything in combination is it because you're doing something different than everybody else i don't know you know i wish i i wish i knew i wish i wish i could tell you but instead i'm sitting here and i'm drawing a bad because i'm trying to draw like a jar of lemons or not a jar but like (laughs) i'm trying to draw a planter that's like right next to me with like 
flowers and lemons and stuff. And at the end of the day, like I'm, tr- I just want to let go of that like need to um, be considered as somebody that I'm not, and just kind of be me. You know, I might not be good at painting. I might not be good at drawing. I might not be good at a lot of things. Maybe I might not even be considered as somebody who creates things. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay if people look at me and think that I'm just some basic ass... (laughs) Some basic ass uh, person. I'm fine with it. I don't need to be defined by something like that. I don't need to be defined as somebody who is creative anymore. It doesn't matter too much to me. I always felt like it wasn't enough. Like I couldn't live up to the word. Like I couldn't live up to the definition. You know, I couldn't live up to be considered a, an artist. Um, because I'm not. And nor will I ever really be. And you know what? That's fine. That's totally fine. And I know, and even the things that I make, I I feel so insecure about. Um, I'm not too sure entirely why, because, well, I'm, I'm proud of the stuff that I make, but I just never feel like it's good enough. And nothing I ever do feels good enough, really. Even in this video, I'm literally just going to, I'm just going to draw. I'm not even, I'm not even going to paint. Maybe I'll continue painting another time. But I wish that um, we can look at this term differently, you know? And there's so much pressure to do something original or to do something completely unheard of, uh, to be different, to show yourself, to show your talents and to show your skills and to be good. And I, you know, I, I had a conversation with um, a new coworker of mine and he is an, an artist. He wants to be a... Um, an art teacher and he paints he does um he paints and he draws and stuff and i always have such a fascination with people that are capable of doing that and you know part of me like yeah i could you know i can do it i can do whatever i set my mind to but i find it so fascinating that people can just like come up with these things and put them into into something beautiful that gets to be appreciated. I think, like, what a wonderful thing. And that's why I, you know, I've always wanted to be that person. That person that's capable of putting something out there that people can look at and be like, wow, like, that's amazing. But I know that that just comes from, like, wanting validation, which isn't good either. And I want to let go of that, you know? I want to let go of, like, that need of perfection and just kind of be for the sake of being. Um, I think that there's so much, like, anxiety to be, like, this perfect um, person, to be this perfect, um, to make everything, like, as perfect as possible, you know? And I just want to let go of that. I just want to kind of make stuff and it be bad. I just want to make bad stuff. <laughs> I just want to make bad art um, and just not take it so seriously. And especially not do it for the sake of like somebody else or somebody else providing me with a sense of uh, validation for what I'm doing. You know, I think it's, I think it's definitely something that's difficult to let go of, though, Um, as with everything, really. And I've accepted that I'm not really um, an artist. I don't consider myself an artist. 
I just consider myself a person that's good at talking. <laughs> and maybe even that, maybe I'm not even good at talking. Maybe I'm not good at anything, you know? I never really had like a talent or something that like I could go and be like, oh, I'm good at this. This is what I'm good at, you know? Because I'm not, I'm not good at, I'm not really good at anything. Or at least I don't consider that I'm good at, it, at anything. And that's why I've always wanted to be good at art. Maybe, because you know, you're either like right-brained or left-brained. You know what I mean? Like you're either you're either left, uh, left-brained or right-brained. And I'm definitely not right-brained because my math skills are just like absolutely atrocious. And like my logic skills are atrocious. So I was like, I must be, I must be left-brained, you know? But except that I'm also not. So technically, technically, I'm, I'm nothing. <laughs> technically, I'm just here surviving. <laughs> literally just hoping for, literally just hoping for the best. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, should I start painting? It's getting dark, but all right, that's not bad. This is not bad, this is not bad. I know it gets stressful too. You know, for people that actually, like, you know, that make stuff, you know, I feel like it's so easy to get, like, stuck in your own, like, worries and anxieties of whether what you make is good or bad. And I think it's such a, um, like, such a normal thing to think, to get so insecure about the stuff that you make because it's, sometimes I feel like, the insecurity is almost kind of necessary. Like, you need to kind of feel like you're a shitty artist all the time. Because if you thought that you were good, you wouldn't just keep going. You wouldn't try to get better. You would just be okay with being how you are. Or maybe that's just something I tell myself, but... Or maybe, I don't know, maybe if you consider you're good, then you're just, you know, you're chilling. You're having a good <laughs> a good life, a good, you know, you just kind of do whatever it is that you feel like doing and that's it, you know? <laughs> yeah, so sometimes I think about that. Like, what is creativity? What does it mean when someone's creative? What would you describe as somebody that is creative? I'm curious, to, I'm, I'm curious for you guys to to tell me like what you guys would consider um creative because i wouldn't consider myself an artist by any means kind of just consider myself a a doer i just do things it's not good it's not bad it's a i just do and more importantly it's for me Whatever it is that I do, it's for me. Not for anybody else, not for anybody to validate me, not for anybody else but me. Is this not the best? This is literally the best drawing of a potted plant ever. Look at this shit. <laughs> it's actually pretty bad, but... Okay. Is this the right way to do things? Probably not. I'm don't I don't even have a stand. I'm just doing it like this because I can because fuck it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to splooge a bunch of colors on this. And it's going to be great. And it's going to be amazing. 
because I don't have to live up to any expectation of being whatever it is that I feel like I need to be. I don't need to live up to any expectations of perfection because I'm not a creative person. I'm just a person that does things. Are they good? Are they bad? Sometimes they're both. Sometimes one's good. Sometimes one's bad. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>